Hello. This short video will show you how to save and manage your shortcuts from older versions of AzuType so that they can be transferred to version 5.0. If you are unfamiliar with 5.0, it is recommended that you take a few minutes to watch the AzuType 5.0 overview video first to help you incorporate the information provided in this video. AzuType stores your shortcuts, macros, and personal dictionaries in files on your hard drive with the designator .shortcut. These files will work with each new version of AzuType, but since they can get moved around over time, it's good to periodically gather them together in one place so that you know where to tell the new version of AzuType to look for them. This video will show you how to find those files and put them into a single folder. Even though AzuType doesn't erase your old shortcuts when you install a newer version, it is recommended that you back up your shortcuts using the method shown in this video, just to make sure you don't lose them to a system crash or other issue. There are several different ways to search and save your shortcuts, but for the purposes of this video we are going to use the simplest method. If you have ever done a search for a file or folder on your computer, this will be a familiar process to you. You will be doing this entire process from within Windows Explorer, which is the file management tool in all computers running Microsoft Windows. You may already have the icon to open Windows Explorer on your desktop, but if not, you can find it by clicking on the Start Menu icon in the far lower left corner of your computer screen, choosing All Programs from the menu that appears, then selecting the Accessories folder. It will normally be the very first folder in the list that appears. Then choose Windows Explorer from the Accessories menu. When the window appears, it will look something like this. Before we do the search for your shortcuts, let's create a file folder to put them in. To do this, first choose a location to create it in. You can put it anywhere, but it is recommended that you put it on your desktop for ease of use. So let's create the folder there. Do this by first clicking on Desktop in the folder list on the left of the window. Then, when the contents of the desktop display on the right, Click on New Folder just above the list. This will automatically create a new folder on your desktop, so all you have to do is start typing the name you want to call it. It is recommended that you name it something obvious like, as you type shortcuts. When you have typed the name in, hit the Enter key and it will save it onto your desktop. Now that you have a single location to move all of your shortcuts to, let's do a search to find them all. To do this, First click on Libraries in the folder list. This tells the Explorer to search all of your user files on this computer. If you choose a separate network drive or just a single folder under Documents, it will only search that specific location. The search window is in the upper right of Windows Explorer. Click on it to see your options for searches. While you could search just by name, it is much better to search by type. Searching by name will pull up every document you have that has the word shortcut in it instead of just the shortcuts themselves, requiring you to pick and choose which files to move to your new folder. So choose Search by Type from the drop down menu. At this point, you could simply type the equal sign and dot shortcut in the search box, or you can choose dot shortcut from the drop down menu. Either will work. As soon as you either choose from the menu or finish typing into the field, the search begins automatically. In other words, you don't have to hit enter to start it. The results should begin to appear almost immediately. Once the search is complete, you now have a list of all of your as you type shortcuts. The next part of the process is to move them all to one single location, in this case the folder you just created on your desktop. This is as simple as either cutting and pasting or dragging and dropping them into the new folder. First, highlight all of the shortcuts. It is easiest to simply click on the first one, scroll down to the bottom of the list, hold down the Shift key on your keyboard, and then choose the last one in the list. Once all of the shortcuts are highlighted, you can copy and paste them into the folder. To do this, right click on the highlighted list, then, when the window appears, you will see that there are a couple of options available to you. You can click on either Copy or Cut. It is recommended to use Cut only because the whole purpose of this process is to put all of your shortcuts into one location, and it could become a problem if you have multiple copies floating around. So, 
either do a copy and then erase the ones not in the folder, or simply use the cut option. Once you have either copied or cut the selection of shortcuts, open the destination folder that you created on your desktop. When the folder opens, right click again in the window and choose Paste from the Options menu. Congratulations! You have now found all of your As You Type shortcuts and saved them to a single folder. At this stage, many people will also burn a CD of their shortcuts to make sure that they have a secure backup. Now, if you are upgrading to As You Type 5.0, this is how you link it to your shiny new folder full of shortcuts. From the Shortcut Editor in version 5.0, Click on the red plus sign next to the tabs at the top of the window. Then choose Open Existing Shortcut List from the drop down menu that appears. When the selection window appears, simply click on the folder where you stored your old shortcuts. Be aware that sometimes when you are loading a shortcut into As You Type, the default for viewing shortcuts will say As You Type Professional and nothing will appear when you open up your shortcut folder. If this happens to you, simply change the display to All Files in the lower right corner of the window and all of your shortcuts should appear. Once you have selected the shortcut you want, simply click on the Open button. You will then get a pop-up window asking if you are sure you want to convert this shortcut to the 5.0 version. Click Yes and repeat as necessary with all of your commonly used shortcuts. And that is how to save your shortcuts and load them into As You Type 5.0. This concludes the video on managing your shortcuts for As You Type. You can find more detailed information, lists of pre-made macros, tips, tricks, and suggestions at either the As You Type fan site pages on Facebook or at the official As You Type website. You can use the links provided on this page or you can simply Google them.